Welcome back to Asian Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the B840 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard from Bloody Powered by A4 Tech featuring their LK Optic Blue Switch. That's a brand new switch, by the way. Anyways, the box contents include the keyboard itself, a quick start guide as shown here, as well as a package with a keycap puller, plastic keycap puller, and some extra keycaps. And now we're going to be taking a look at the back of the keyboard first. And the back of the keyboard features four rubberized feet on the four corners of the keyboard, as well as the elevator feet have rubber tips as well. There are also uh, two drainage holes on the bottom right of the keyboard. Get to those in a little bit. Anyways, now we're going to be taking a look at the cabling. Uh, first off, we're looking at the USB plug. It is a standard uh, USB plug here that terminates into a... A uh, regular cable, pretty nice cable actually, braided USB cable, and it is pretty tough as shown there. Anyways, taking a look at the keyboard that it's plugged in, it's got a pretty standard layout, nice long enter key backspace, space bar, nothing too fancy there. We have our indicators on the top right hand of the keyboard for your scroll lock, num lock, and caps lock, as well as with the function modifier, you have the option of using function F8 and you get a Windows lock key as shown in the bottom right and there's a G for that as well. And using the function and up and down keys you can adjust the backlight settings and there are four settings including off. Anyways, I will be showing you guys what is inside this bag here. So we have a, again, plastic keycap puller as well as eight extra keycaps. They are rubberized orange keycaps, not sure why they chose, went for the orange color scheme here uh, with the keycaps and the backlighting as bloody uh, it's very like everything else is very red and just the orange kind of throws everything off and I feel like the red would appeal to a lot um, more customers so anyways I'm just gonna be throwing these extra keycaps back into the bag and we will uh, move along with the review anyways next up I will be going to be talking about the actual switches themselves so here's a quick typing sample Now that was the typing sample for the LK Optic Blue Switches, and here I have my Nixius Moto V2 mechanical keyboard, and this is going to be a Kale Blue Switch, it's uh, closer to the MX Blue compared to the LK Optics. So removing that extra keyboard, I'm going to be talking about the specifications of the switches and it's a 0.2 milliseconds response time, 25% faster keystroke distance as it is only 3 millimeters, and it has a zero lag response with lightning speed. They also have N key rollover and anti-ghosting. So what makes these key switches unique is they have the tactile feedback and sound as you would find on Cherry MX Blues, but they use a laser so you get actually 100 million keystrokes on every single key so you're gonna be getting a lot of durability for this keyboard it's gonna last you a long time anyways what's also cool about this keyboard and these switches is that it has a spill resistant design uh, as you can see here you can do anything you want with uh, drinks water stuff like that your keyboard is gonna be fine and dandy at the end of the day so you know it's nice to know that not only do you have a long lasting keyboard with the hundred million keystroke lifetime but you also have a nice durable one in that it is waterproof now taking a look at the software uh, it's a pretty simple software as you can see every single key on this keyboard is reprogrammable through the software that you can download off the bloody website uh, links will be in that little quick start guide there's also an rgb animation section but this keyboard is not rgb so 
you know, maybe there's an RGB version in the future. Uh, we also have some Oscar macro capabilities, and we have all the find any tools to set your macros. As well, we have a super combo so that you can get as many clicks as possible. You know, not, I'm not too heavy a gamer, but if you are, then you know exactly uh, what this is. So that pretty much concludes the review. I'm still questioning why bloody, uh, why you guys decided to go with an orange color scheme as red is very like bloody, like you have red all over your packaging and website and your gaming mouse as shown here, but you guys decided to go for an orange as well. I feel like red would have appealed to a lot more setups better and you guys would have had a better market. Anyways, this keyboard has a lot of unique characteristics, and I would recommend it to anyone who's a little bit heavier of a gamer or just looking for a, a reliable, durable, and innovative keyboard. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like the video if you didn't enjoy, and to subscribe if you have not already to stay updated to my new reviews, DIYs, and all my other Asian review videos. Make sure to check out my social media accounts as well to stay updated to giveaways and, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.